Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some liars that got caught in the act. And yes, I did manage to leave my house, thank you for asking. Make your change, friend. My, what a tiny waist you have there, my dear. What happened to the tree? I see Photoshop. The tree is like that, baby. Just go and take a look at my Photoshop highlight. Wait, your Photoshop highlight. So that means there's Photoshop. Let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe your waist really is that small. But again, would not be surprised if there was Photoshop. Kind of looks like there is. Just saying. Tag a friend who will heart this ultimate shimmery look. Our duo chromatic illuminating powder is used to transform the look. Excuse me, this is me. I'm the model. The photographer is Julian Morales. Makeup is Chris Renee and the hair is T hair. Please tag the actual model and photographer for this. Your makeup was not used in this photo at all. <laughs> oh, that was, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. I'm just saying. It's, it's not... <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that makeup is a little too nice. <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. Shots fired! Can your husband dance with another girl? No. Like, I'm not talking about like... I'm on no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not talking about like her grinding on him, but I'm talking about like, you know, like they can't dance no cumbia, no bachata. Um, no, because I don't dance with guys, so no. I find this so funny because she has danced with multiple guys and Recently, she was spotted dancing with a guy, along with having her bodyguard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cut in the act. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, it doesn't necessarily look like that big of a deal because it looks kind of like they're doing like line dancing sort of situations, which you need a partner for. But to then go and say that you have an issue with your man dancing with somebody else. Why you gotta lie? Hmm? Hmm? By the way, I didn't delete your comment because I want to censor your opinion. I deleted your comment because I'm just trying to avoid political arguments on Facebook. Then why are you posting political stuff on Facebook? Anybody else want to know how to do that thing? Not the... I look like a sad cow when I do it, but it's like a sound that really sassy influencers make. You know, that sound? I wanna learn how to do that, because that's what I would do if I could right now. In 2003, two men who were snorkeling off the coast of Mexico came across this woman in her wheelchair. It turned out that she had been missing for several days and that her husband had pushed her from a boat. I read about this online. She designed an underwater wheelchair that allowed a person who needing a wheelchair to go scuba diving. She was testing it. She never died. Pushed her in, but gave her an air tank and mask first. Yes. <laughs> That's kind of spooky looking. Yeah. Kind of freaky. Why you gotta lie about something like that, man? Like most of these, when I do these videos, I'm like, what's the point of lying about something like that? I don't get it. Does that make you feel good? Getting away with lying? Getting some Reddit upvotes? Why do American football slash baseball teams get the title of world champions when no other nationality competes? The Toronto Blue Jays would like a word with you. Forget to change accounts? Man, seriously, how bored do you have to be to be switching between accounts and talking to yourself? Pretty darn bored, I would say. I would say on a scale of one to bored, that is about a 14. All that effort just to make it look like people agree with you. I thought, you just said you were single. Did I? I asked you? When a girl asks you if you're single or married, it means are you available? Well, you just weren't specific enough. I'm not married, but I'm not single. How does that make it better? Would your girlfriend have a problem with that? Probably. Okay, then don't do it. Is she really wrong though? Name an instance where a woman has declared war. I'll wait. Elizabeth I, Queen Anne, Maria Theresa, Catherine the Great, Margaret Thatcher. I could go on. 
Actually, I can. <laughs> did Cleopatra declare war? Let's find out. No, she was declared against. <laughs> when I was two or three years old, I was in Central Park, New York with my grandma. All the public bathrooms were locked, so she had me pee on a tree. $1,000 in fine and a New York Times article later, I was invited to a city grand opening of a new merry-go-round as an apology. And that is how you became a filthy, depraved furry. The end. <laughs> really? No, it's complete BS. The fine for public urination in Central Park is $75, and the newest merry-go-round was put there in 1951. Clearly, he peed 13 and one-third times and was born in 1947. Lying to yourself and trying to lie to us. What a shame. Shameful. What a weird thing to lie about. <laughs> oh, peed on a tree, and then they pulled on you for me. Cool, buddy. You and every other dude and occasionally Charlotte that's ever lived. <laughs> I didn't mean to post this, shake my head, but whatever. Morning. I never understand these, because it's like, how do you accidentally post something? You don't. Because it involves you, like, actually physically writing it down. <laughs> how do I accidentally write a caption about accidentally posting something? I'll tell you how, you don't. Your boyfriend is a cheater. You need to get away from him and quick for your own good. I'm just giving you a friendly heads up. I've seen him with multiple different girls. Found out he was dating someone, so I found you. What's his name? You know, never mind. I was just trying to be respectful and give you a heads up because I believe women shouldn't be treated like pieces of meat. The only reason I messaged you is because he gave one of my best friends an STD. Listen to me, don't listen. I honestly don't care. I hope you have a nice day. If you tell me his name, I might believe you. I said my piece. I don't need your questioning. Take care. All right, so this is either a dude that wants to date her or a woman who wants to date her man. My professional opinion, and I am an authority on the subject. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Can you hang out right now? No, I'm with my grandma. You're with your grandma right now? Okay, bye. Maybe next time? Yeah, maybe next time. Okay, love you. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. Hi, Grandma. Oh, my Grandma, she's like in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> grandma, come on now. She's playing hide and go seek. No, open it. She's shy. She's shy? No, it's just not. Oh, my God, my Grandma can teleport. <laughs> my grandma loves hide and go seek. She's right. really good at it. <laughs> she's just so real the house. Yeah. <laughs> go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him you don't want to go out. Don't use your grandma's. Don't bring your grandma into this. Yo, Twitter, let's make this happen. Okay, let me keep it real with you, Chief. How many retweets for Drake and Josh to be on Netflix? Netflix responds, get 100,000 and it's a done deal. And Netflix responds to that, love the passion, but that DM is photoshopped. Sorry. But Drake and Josh. As someone who has never seen Drake and Josh, I don't really understand the importance of lying about it on the internet, but I'm assuming you like that show very much. My father is a waiter and looked down by my relatives. Now he is a multimillionaire still having a passion as a waiter. Why the hell would he be passionate about being a waiter? <laughs> Stop making stuff up. Hey, you know, some people are passionate about being a waiter, okay? I've seen very, very, very good, I think the correct term for it is server. But um, I know a lot of people who are passionate about serving. I'm not sure if you could be a millionaire. Maybe if you had like investments. I just got a DM from Seth Rogen and it just says fart. Tuesdays are cool. <laughs> Seth Rogen responds, no you didn't. <laughs> Why you gotta lie about a fart, man? You think that makes you cool? You're not cool, okay? How's work? It was good. Oh, was it really? Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Mm -hmm. Usual, I got to work with Raymundo for a little bit, yeah. You know what's so funny? He wasn't in work today. I called his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was at home sick. Yeah, no, I got to work with another Raymundo. We just hired him, you, just, you don't know him. Really? Huh? That's so funny, because I called your work, and oh. you know what they said? Yeah, what did they say? They said you weren't hot. in today. Oh, really? That you called off. Do you have Wait, any- Wait, when you, when you called the front office, did you dial number? I swear! <laughs> Very funny, you two. <laughs> so, so funny. Ha ha. Watch my dad crack the glass door and try to act like he didn't do it. Nico! Come here! Downstairs! 
I just seen this. I ain't touched hit nothing. Just seen this. You must have hit it with that. I swear to God, I didn't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You you swear? There's no way that you could have possibly made that crack. Hmm. Hmm. Dads would way rather lie than screw up. There's no way in hell any dad would take responsibility for breaking something. <laughs> Alrighty guys, those were some liars that got caught in the act. Let's go!